I'd like to call uh, today's, uh, which is the August 12th, 2020 um, uh, meeting of the Historic Preservation Commission. I'd like to call up to order. And I'd like to welcome any of the staff and citizens. And I think the only person that is new, maybe if they do come back online, we can offer them a moment to introduce themselves and give us a little bit of information. Will do. Great. Okay. So I don't think we need to go through any introductions right now. I think we can move right to the approval of the uh, agenda. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Let me uh, bring up the basic agenda instead of the abbreviated one on the presentation. Great, thank you. Yeah. Great, thanks. Still getting the hang of this stuff. Agenda 2020 and this one. There we go. On the share screen is the agenda. I added the, um, in case anyone missed it, I added the, the cons, oops, I, oh, where'd it go? Hold on a second. Let me try <laughs> it again. Apparently you I- You did add the HPC 27, the, um, the neon, the certificate. Yeah. I know I had it. What happened to it? My goodness. I have it on mine. You sent the most recent one. Yeah. Well, I'm, I may add it in PDF, PDF of it. So I will just uh, quickly export that and do that. And now I will bring it up. There we go. You see it? Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. That's HP 20.07. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Um, so there are there any corrections or are there any additions um, to the minutes actually? Um, and if there are so, I didn't let me know. see anything. They look good to me. And I apologize for the sending the uh, the B Street neon alley sign thing just the other day, but. Um, if everyone's okay with it, then just leave it on the consent agenda. But if you wanted to look at the uh, plans, that's you can you're free to do so. You can just move it to the regular agenda. I did, yeah. Yeah, I looked at them also myself. Everything looked good to me. Very good. Okay. Well, if there are no additions or corrections, can I have a motion uh, to accept the minutes, uh, the agenda, and the minutes as presented? I so move, Laurel. Second. Second, Jason. Aye. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None being so, the motion is passed. Okay. So let's move on to the uh, consent agenda. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So yeah, just an FYI, uh, just to rem as a reminder, all items listed on this portion of the agenda are considered to be routine by the Historic Preservation Commission and will be enacted in one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a commissioner so requests, in which event the item will be removed from the consent agenda and considered under the regular agenda. Otherwise, you can motion to accept it right. as is. Right, and is there a motion to accept as stated? I'll I guess I'll move. move. <laughs> Thank you, Laurel. Second? Mm -hmm. Rocco seconds. Great. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. As being that there are, no, it is approved as voted. Thank you. So let's move on to the, uh, the regular agenda, Alan. Great. So this is the uh, uh, HPC 2006. This is uh, the National Register nomination of Keating School at 215 East Foreman Avenue. Uh, the HPC um, can offer a non-binding recommendation of to recommend approval of the National Register nomination. And um, in which case we would fill out this form 
that will give that will have the chair sign. So Gregory would would sign here, and then meanwhile the mayor would sign as elected official, and we would check. You know, we would affirm which criteria that. And um, so, let me. But let's just take a quick look at the uh, nomination form together. Um, yeah. I think FYI, the uh, the, the uh, Colorado Historic Preservation Review Board will meet on September 18th. Was this? So it's a, and we'll forward this. We should uh, get that our information to them by September 15th, which is pretty close to next month's agenda, which is why we're talking about it today. Um, Great. Yeah. So. Um, so they so the national so the nomination basically is focusing on criterions A and C, which has to do with I think A is about historical events and persons, and then C is architecture and engineering. Um, right. And that's so they did a beautiful a, job on the on the report. So we've got two out of three categories. Yeah. Okay. Late 19th and early 20th century revival and classical for architectural classification. Yeah, 1927. Uh, they they did a beautiful job on the narrative. I remember reading through it and um, so thoughtfully done from all perspectives. Just breezing through it here, just so people at home can kind of see the scope of the national of the nomination form. It goes into detail, but each each wing, each section of the building, and, and the interior, and acknowledges what the alterations and it talks about the integrity, the historic integrity, and the statement of signif significance. Yeah, criterion A: property is associated with events that have made significant contribution to the broad patterns of our history. And criterion C. Property embodies the distinctive characteristics of a type, period, method of construction, represents the work of a master, possesses high artistic value, represents a significant and distinguishable entity whose components lack individual distinction. So basically, edu and, and yeah. education and architecture, education because it was a school. Oh, right. yeah. But the architect, Stickney and de Mordaunt, is yeah. so important, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they've done a lot of, they've done quite a work in Pueblo uh, elsewhere in Pueblo, right? Yes, yes. And yeah. Stickney's house is just down the street, you know. Yeah. So, right. Well, Walter de Mardot did. He did the Y. He did uh, East yeah. High School. I mean, he's done quite a bit here in town. So. Yeah, both of them have. Yeah. Great. Very, very important. Yeah. This is a very excellent nomination form because I like how they break down the statement of significance by criterion as well. Very yeah. concise. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, the couple that the couple that did this is really their their first class in the country. So they do a great job. And look at all the references to the previous nominations and in and, and historic context that they basically cross referenced anything that Stickney and Dave Mordaunt have done, they've cross referenced here. Right. That's excellent. Wonderful. Right. Alan, do you know, uh, did HPI pay for this? I, I, I don't know, if, uh, but I, I know that Corinne Kaler was involved in, uh, in, in this, getting this together. So right. yeah, that's, they that's did why. have their own internal. Yeah, they did, they did um, do it themselves, HPI. I don't know if there were any other supporting organizations or any special underwriting, but they did lead the effort. And um, when I first saw it, you could just see, it was very similar to what we did at the Steelworks Center of the West when we did a lot of our nominations. Um, they, they were really just top notch. I love the bibliographies and everything that they have there. Here's the form pre preparation. Uh, the Simmons, Mr. Lo Mr. Thomas and Miss Laurie. Yeah, they're great. The Simmons, with, well, they're amazing. With contributions yeah, say by HPI. Corinne. Yeah, yep. it, contributions yeah. by Corinne Kaler. Right. Well, HPI, yeah. As, yeah, she's on the board of HPI. Great. Yeah. I bet there should be photographs in here as well. Let's see. Those are, there's your site plan, the sketch. Oh, it's like a uh, site map identifying the areas. There's uh, the floor plans. Wow. Historical photographs. Mm -hmm. Sanborn map, 
more historical photographs. That's like, wow, what an impressive work. Really? No, it's great. I did the uh, photography work for them for the current photos. Mm. So, so the uh, National Register nomination form, and I'll, I'll fill this out for, um, for Gregory's signature since he's vice chair. Um, we would check for criterion A and C. And as the commission board, you, you, can, you can choose one of these three. It's either meets the criteria checked above or, or if it fails to meet or if it chooses not to make a recommendation. So, right. so you, would, you would articulate your motion accordingly. Right. Uh, just as an aside, I wish I had, I have tried to research in this, in the past on this question that I have, but I, I don't, I think I dropped it because something else came up, but what was there? What was there before Keating? I know that there were some huge houses on the 600 block, and I'm just wondering if that's where they were, um, important people uh, that, you know, between um, Orman and Adams. And I would have loved to have known that. And I thought maybe it might be in there, but I didn't see it. I know that the South Pueblo yeah, historic Yeah, that's interesting. Context. Someone else asked about that. Yeah. Yeah, I Someone need to else, some I remember when we did the first tour, when we did the very first tour with the investment group, um, that was one of the questions that came up. There were some that had done some preliminary, but no one had a definitive answer. So I think everyone is curious to know, you know, what, because that's a, that's a commanding block right there. It is, across it is. On yeah. Orman, across yeah. from Central High School. Yeah. I think I could speak to that, guys. Oh, okay. One time I did some, it was during the D60 bond, situ well, prior to the bond, when they were discussing potential school closures, and I'm an alumnus of Central. So I looked, out of my own curiosity, I was looking into the, 110 year 120 year old deeds for uh central high school to see if there was mm -hmm. anything in the deed uh that specifically speaks to you know this must be set aside for school purposes and if not it goes back to the grand tour which you could do you don't see it much these days and it did say that but that anyway i would think that keating would be the same there was a south pueblo development whose name escapes me at the moment uh i could maybe pull the deed for you guys if you want to see it but in any event uh, I think it was and initially was and always was set aside uh, for the purposes of District 20. Oh, uh, that's my interesting. Yeah, it would have been the Colorado Coal and Iron. Yeah. Yeah, that could it could have been Colorado Coal and Iron. Something yeah. Like that. And Good. Could, well, could, thanks. I do that deed if you're interested, Laurel. Yeah, thank that's you for amazing. sharing. I just always have my historical research at hand so I could look at stuff. And that was one that I never was sure about. So. So I guess, do we have a motion then, Alan, can you go back to that, the form um, sure. so that we can just identify it? It seems like that top yeah. um, checkbox is really what we want to be looking at as far as the motion. Yeah, the criterion A and C is what's listed in A and C. And then our motion would be for the commission board there, that top one, which um, it's small on my screen, Alan. Can you read that again? Uh, the commission recommends that the nomination meets the criteria checked above, criterion A and C. Okay. Correct. Great. So do we have a motion? Um, I guess, is there any further discussion? Uh, can we move to the motion? If there's no further discussion, um, can we have a motion to... Um, to approve this for Keating Junior High School. I so move and I'm proud to do it. I, I'm so glad that the school district finally came around, so. Thank you, Laurel. Do we have a second? I will second, I believe it's long overdue myself. I agree with the okay. statements. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, um, all those in favor, aye. Aye, aye, aye. aye, aye. I. <laughs> um, th those not in favor. <laughs> Go away. Uh, so being um, <laughs> all in favor. <laughs> yeah. The motion has passed unanimously. Great. Congratulations. Meeting in your high school. Yay. Finally. Okay. okay. And that's the only item on our regular agenda, right? Correct. Well, well, there's a, some business that we'll be attending to, but that's yeah. but there's no other certificates of appropriateness right, right. or, yeah. 
Okay, great, great. So I guess we minutes. can move all the way down. Yeah, the minutes, just the approval of the minutes. We've done that. And well, um, are there any changes, corrections, alterations? I thought we did that. Oh, I think, yeah, I think um, there might have been misunderstanding. I think Greg, I think Laurel may have heard Gregory do both the agenda and the minutes in oh, one okay. motion, but, okay. but I think Gregory meant to just focus on the agenda. So, okay. Yeah. I always used to try. So to now smoke. we're at the um, <laughs> old and new business. <laughs> so um, now we're at the old and new business. And um, it, are there any items, or is there any staff or committee reports? Oh, okay. So just a clarification. So then Gregory's motion originally was both agenda and minutes together. That's my understanding. Okay, that was my understanding too. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm good with it. <laughs> All right, very good. We'll, we'll move on from that. Um, going back to the agenda here. Let's see here. Uh, oops, I clicked on the plans for the uh, neon alley sign. Uh, there we go. Here's our, here's our items for business. So status of appointments. I'll, so um, I just wanted to inform the commission that, well, let's see, let's just, yeah, I'll just stop the share because that's easier this way. Um, so I just want to let everybody know that we've got we've got um, Angela Rain. Uh, her application uh, was processed and by the city clerk's office, and she's a museum director. And uh, she she was originally appointed as part of the standing committees that we that we appointed last year. Um, but she did express interest in being a full commission member. So her application was forwarded to the mayor's office and quickly put on their schedule for the city council meeting. So on Monday's council meeting, that's, I heard that her resolution was on the uh, council agenda. I'll, I'll confirm that in my office, but that's, so we should be seeing her officially appointed as a HBC member. Um, and so she could, participate as soon as the next regular meeting Terrific. for sure for certain Alan right. what museum does she represent um, I don't recall I haven't been able to I haven't had a chance to talk to her in detail about that um, uh, I'm but, curious yeah but I plan on one of the improvements I'm trying to make with our commission office is to um, publicly promote brief bios biographies of all the commission members you know a little paragraph about themselves and put them online so that way people who want to learn about the commission or who might be interested in serving can see that, hey, these are people I can relate with. I want to be one of those. So I definitely Thank will have you. a conversation on her and encourage her to give us a little blurb about it. Oh yeah. Welcome, Scott. Welcome. Director Hobson is joining us. Great. I was just informing the commission about Angela Rain's appointment. So Alan, do you want us to send you uh, a bio so that that can be included on the website? Oh, that would be fantastic. If, if each okay. of you could, could just write a short one paragraph, just a really, okay. like a really short bio, like almost like a, you know, like a publisher's blurb, you know, something really small. And that way we can include that on the website. That'd be wonderful. Yeah. yeah. And I'll, and right. I'll be your, your second pair of eyes. Just so don't, don't worry about making it perfect. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank Great. you, Alan. Thank you. The next item is any any questions about the vacancies? Where um, there was two other people that I had talked with about filling those vacancies. I I just want to I'm going to check in with them again and see and if um, seeing if if they've submitted an application because we had at least two other people interested. So I'll, I'll check. And I have off. two other people. I have two other people too who I talked with two days ago. Um, they don't know if they want to do committee only or whether they would actually want to be on the commission. So as soon as they've made a decision, I'll have them follow normal protocol as far as the application. Great. Thank you. All right. Any other questions about incoming appointments? No, okay. thank you. That's great. Seeing none. status of the committees. Um, we've got interest by the uh, standards committee to meet virtually um, and I appreciate Laurel's initiative about that and um, so I have a tentative 
Monday afternoon, Monday, August 24th. So I want to confirm with Matt, the uh, muralist, because I think it is important that he participate. So yeah. cause there's definitely interest in looking at murals. So I will, uh, but it sounds like people in general are available for that. So okay. maybe we can make that happen as a virtual meeting on Monday. Was I, talk, I talk with Matt. I talked with Matt yesterday. Okay. I didn't know that there was a date set. So by all means, that, that'll be a great discussion. Yeah. 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 Uh, did did Carolyn get back to you? Because she's in the middle of moving. I saw a moving van at her house. Did she get oh, yeah. back to you? Yeah, she said that she was, a few months ago, she said that she was moving her house. But right. uh, she said just keep her informed and she'll okay. participate whenever she can. But the standards committee has quite a number of people. So Good. you can definitely get it started. Uh, the, planning committee, the planning committee, Bill, Casey, and uh, Jane Caulfield, um, I think we're starting to talk, so I'll just check in with them and encourage them to follow through with setting an agenda. And that way, Anthony, I know, is on that committee as well, and Jason as well so for the planning committee. So as soon as I can get them going, we'll get you, we'll get that meeting again as well. Um, Jason and Anthony, do you prefer to do uh, virtual meetings or in person or a hybrid for those planning subcommittee meetings? My preference would be virtual, I think. Okay. I'm okay David? with virtual. If if hybrid's needed for some people, I don't see an issue with that, but sure. I prefer virtual. And I might be able to, um, I'll check with staff here to see if, if we're comfortable with, if any of our committee members prefers to be in person, that maybe I'll check with staff to see if we can accommodate as long as we As long as we can uh, accommodate through, you know, like in here, we usually don't have any more than six. Yeah. Uh, we do that for planning and zoning, and we've done that for zoning board of appeals where mm. a uh, board member, it's easier for them to just come in and participate rather than try to get into a Zoom meeting. We accommodate that. So that's good. fine. Oh, excellent. I'm glad that's a good resource. But we, right. we have had pretty good attendance with these Zoom meetings with the board members. Mm -hmm. uh, much, uh, especially planning and zoning commission, we've had much better attendance through the Zoom meetings than we had in person previously. Excellent. Yeah, I agree. It's it's interesting. New world. It's the way of the future, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think yes. hybrid hybrid may be the way to go so that we can actually be more inclusive. So I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Any other questions about the uh, standing committees at this time? No. Questions? No, Great. thank you. Thank you. Um, and, the, and just FYI, the education committee is kind of offline for now, but as soon as we get these other ones up and running, we'll focus on the education committee. Yeah, Last let me know. I'm anxious. I have I have some things for education. I'm very excited about that. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Because uh, and incidentally, on the topic of education, Gregory will be coming to this office on this Friday to meet with right. Scott and Barrett yes. to an idea about the, the historic context. So that'll that'll be yep. good for education in general. Yeah. The yep. last item here is a resolution regarding the HPC code pertaining to National Register nominations. That's the, uh, re the uh, HPC code item that Anthony uh, had drafted. Right. And um, as I understand from according to staff and, and Scott, uh, that's it's um, at the law department. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's in the hands of the law department and as soon as the law department can get to the review, then uh, they'll forward it to the mayor's office for council uh, ordinance. Right. Uh, the committee's already made a recommendation of approval, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Because that, that was the uh, HPC resolution. Uh, that was there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that should happen sooner than later. Then. Okay. Cool. And just in case, um, I guess what I emailed has the resolution, but maybe I'll I'll I'll, I'll dig up the signed version, like the one with the signature, and just that way, in case the law department needs to have that too, I'll I'll forward it too. Okay. Okay. Because I think Laurel had signed something. I know she signed the other resolutions, um, but I'm not yeah. certain if we got a signature for the uh, for the HPC code ones. So if if nothing else, I'll get Gregory's signature on it just to be safe if I don't have it. Okay. 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 Great. Any questions on the resolution? Okay. No. Do we have a motion to um, move on to? Well, actually, we're at the end of the meeting. Is there anything else? Any announcements or anything? Yeah, I have an any announcement. announcement. I have an announcement. Um, 
and, and it's just more or less a, um, a heads up. And I don't know if it's proper to do it here. I've always talked about the barn, so I guess I can do that. But anyway, uh, because of uh, yes. delighted to hear that 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 Anthony is on Broadway, um, I will be doing walking tours of the Mesa Junction area, which nobody has ever done. Um, actually, I did it for HPI years ago, 10 years ago. So I'm updating it. But I, I, probably in September, and I'll have to point out Anthony's office window. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's Anthony's window. Anyway, I think it'll be, I hope that you guys will follow follow on that and, and attend. There'll be quite a few. We want just gonna, not going to just do one or two, but Mesa Junction is important because of the junction of all of the transit there. So anyway, just thought I'd um, let you know that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you for organizing that, Laurel. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? We've done all sorts of different areas of Pueblo, but Mesa Junction has been sort of put in the background and it's extremely important um, for, you know, I mean, it, it was just another one of our little business areas that uh, uh, boomed at one time, so. It's coming back. Yeah, and we need to, you know, I think if we feature that, a lot of people will say, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that right. there was, you know, that there, so, yeah. I would encourage anyone listening and watching the video to look at our our historic contexts on our website at pueblo.us forward slash HPC. You'll find some links for uh, preservation programs and there'll be some links to our historic context. You can find the South Pueblo historic context online with a link to a beautiful PDF of, uh, of the history of South Pueblo, which includes right. Yeah. And I've got the book if anybody ne needs to borrow it. So. Yeah. What book is that, Laurel? And I have all the books there. Yeah. On my website, too, I have all the books available. All the PDFs are available for each neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, we're going to restart the tours at Water Tower Place. Uh, we're working out all the logistics. Um, we have the governor coming down on September 1st. But um, also, we have now about 950 people on the waiting list to resume the ah. Tunnels of Pueblo tour. Oh so we don't know what we're going to be able to do with those because <laughs> uh, the demand is so great. So it's just great to see so much interest. So Laurel, by all means, I can't wait to have all of the dates and everything to get that excitement going. Yeah. It's really great. It's important. It's important. We need to tout our history. We have a lot more than most people give yep. us credit for. And, uh, That's you know, for sure. Yeah, and I'm I'm trying to work with um, uh, CTO Colorado Tourism Office. We have been lumped into the Pikes Peak Wonders region, and we don't belong there. Uh, we are not we are not mountains. We are plains and prairies, and we are border. We are you know Mexican border. There's no ranches, yeah. farming way different than Pikes Peak. So. I have to, yeah, I have yeah. to talk with people about that. They're not liking my saying that, but you know what? We have to do what's best for us, not Colorado Springs. So, yeah. I mean, I want to collab great. collaborate with them, but we just don't have the same features, you know. You know, we may want to talk, Laura, because I'm in negotiations with the governor of New Mexico, Colorado, and Wyoming on an initiative that I proposed about four years ago called the Santa Fe Art Trail which mm. is just using the original Santa Fe Trail. And what we're finding is as a result of COVID in particular, you know, we really need to take in a collective approach because museums, galleries, um, you know, whether you're historical, whether you're art related, they're really having trouble surviving in their own right. And initially when we move out of COVID, people aren't gonna wanna get on planes. They'll get in their car and they'll drive and they'll do a day trip or an overnight if we're lucky. So the notion that we have one of the most robust historical, artistic, and cultural corridors, you know, the original Santa Fe Trail, um, we're, it's already baked into our, our landscape. So yeah. I would love to talk to you more about that because Pueblo is so different from anywhere else. And to distinguish it, we're on the trail, so we might as well take advantage of it. I totally agree, thank you. So do you want me to, I can. Well, this is all exciting. <laughs> so why don't I, um, is, Gregory, maybe I could also ahead. interject. Um, in the next yeah. uh, week uh, to 10 days, uh, John Rodriguez, who is who was with the Pulp, mm -hmm. is going to yes. become an employee of the John. city. Oh. 
as a communications manager yeah. with the city. That's going to start in the next five to 10 days. And so uh, I think being able to communicate what's going on from a historic preservation, all the things that you guys you all are doing, I think he would be, he's going to have a lot going on, but I think it would be great to uh, communicate with him and see what he can do to be able to promote uh, from a city standpoint uh, of what's going on. He does love history. I, I, whenever he, I see his articles, he does favor history. And he kind of, you know, he, yeah, so that's, that's a good idea. Yeah, the barn and, and Frontier Pathways has had real good luck with them. They've always been quite, you know, with the pulp at least. Um, Scott, right. did Adam's Electric finish? Um, I don't think so. Oh. I, I'm going to have to check further with Laurel, but remember they said they had to back order those? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What okay. Do they well, call they those the uh, those uh, specific light fixtures that were kind of the right. I'm, I'm forgetting what they call them, but anyway, they're the ones that would like the uh, light uh, exhibits and that kind of thing. Right. Okay. Right. Oh, that's so, right. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. And and um, they moved the potty. I'm so glad because now people want to come by and take a picture of the barn. And here was this porta potty right there. So. They move, I don't know if they removed it or moved it to the back like I requested, but good. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to be well, in this negotiations. This is all very exciting. If, yeah. Yeah. So if there's no more, um, if there's no more discussion or questions, um, do I have a motion to um, entertain a motion to adjourn this lovely meeting today? So moved. Jason? Do we yes. have a second? I will, I will. I guess we're going to be a pair okay. there, Jason. So. We need more people to be <laughs> doing our motions and our seconding. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. I could talk all to you guys posts. for hours. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Since it's I unanimous, um, yeah. we are adjourned at 2.03 p.m. Good timing. Thank you so much, guys. See you next time. Hey, Thanks, thank all. you, Laurel. Thank, thank you. you. Take I'll care. talk to you all soon. Thanks again, Thank and Gregory. You. I'll I'll talk with you about getting signatures for the uh, those two items, the uh, National Register nomination and the. Uh, well, I'll be there. Okay, I'll be there on Friday. So if you want me to do it there, I'll be coming down. Perfect, perfect. I'll have that ready for you. Okay, great. All right, wonderful. Good to see you Thank all you. Again. Bye bye. Good to see you. Be safe. Likewise. Everyone. Thank you.